Today we're off to McGregor Lake, one of the larger reservoirs in southern Alberta. We're going to take the truck onto the lake today and see if we can find the Sunken River Channel. As you can see, our path to find the channel was a little bit wild. We didn't have the exact GPS locations of where we wanted to put our first hole, so we took our best guess. However, our first guess was not a good one. The first hole I dug with the auger went right into some mud and rocks. This made the blades completely dull and we were unable to drill another hole. Fortunately, I had a toolkit in the truck, however, I did not have anything to sharpen the blades. I had to take the blades off and put in some plastic shims to see if I could change the angle of the blades and get a good grip into the ice. Now knowing that there's just mud and rocks here, we need to move farther down the lake to find some water. Every hole now becomes about a three or four minute effort with extra strain being put on the motor and battery. Our next few holes just end up being one foot of water, and then two feet of water, and then back to one foot of water. Once we got to this point, it was time to reevaluate what we were doing. We could not get any data on our phones, so we could not get a satellite map to see exactly where we are. With the battery running low on the auger, we had to make the choice of continuing to search for this channel, or going out to deeper water and just doing some fishing. We decided that we probably went over the channel and head back to the other shore to see if we could find deeper water. Eventually we did come across some deeper water and the channel. In one of our first holes, here I'm setting up the jaw jacker with a small jig. Once we got a few more holes in, we were able to map out where the channel was running and the depths on either side. This is why we were seeing one foot of water all over the place, except right in the channel. After getting everything set up, it wasn't long before we got our first fish on. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we got a fish. Whoa. I don't know, it's fighting really, really good. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Okay, can you uh, grab the the ice clear? Get clear off the ice out of it. Whoa! Okay, 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 look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! It's a rainbow! It's a huge rainbow! Oh my gosh! Oh, look at the size of that thing! Look at the size of this rainbow! 
Oh, yeah. That is worth every little frustration today. Yeah. That is a gorgeous fish. Jeez. Oh, my God. Can you see it in there? Yeah, you can. All right, that is awesome. That fight was great. That was a nice fight on that fish. It was amazing. You want to see what I caught it on? What? All I'm using is a little tungsten jig and a little maggot on it. That's it. That's all we're catching. Catch that one on. Right on the jaw jacker. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, can you let go? Okay, pull, pull it back just a bit. Make sure you're still there. If you get right through there. It's going flat. Oh, you know what? He broke it? He didn't. Yeah. No, this one had this one had a weight and a hook on this one, so he bit the hook right off. Oh. That's a giant. <laughs> For him to bite that right off. Damn it. So he was like pulling. I felt him like really That had to be a big fish. Several minutes later, the same tip up goes off again. Tip up! Tip up! Unfortunately, once I got to the hole, the fish took it down hard and bit off the rest of the rig. This is the last hole. Out of battery. The blades are very, very dull. Trying to get through the ice. Got five into the canal here. Two on the outside in one foot of depth. Those are wasted holes. We'll see if we can catch any more fish today. But that's all the holes we can get in. And we'll see what happens. On three of the holes we have wind tip ups running large smelts looking for pike. Here you'll see all of the tip-ups going off and off and off. The pike seem to take it, but they don't take it deep. I like the visual feedback that wind tip-ups give you. You can see how hard the fish are taking the bait or if they're just lightly biting at it. Even before you get to the tip-up, you can see how fast the line is running out or how hard the fish might be pulling. It was not our day to catch fish on tip-ups. Even in this case where we had one and then two go off, we were unable to pull any fish in. First hole of the day, I end up drilling into mud that completely ruined the blades. Spent the next two hours trying to get the drill to drill correctly and then trying to find this little submerged canal. It's about 20 feet wide and one foot on either side of it. So if you don't drill right over the canal, you're almost going to be drilling into mud again. So I thought those one foot holes on either side of the canal would be useless, but looking at the underwater camera, we found this whitefish hunting around for some food.
so we're able to target these white fish and bring one up. In this case, I lost them right at the top of the hole, so I had to reach down and pull them out of the hole. This was a nice white fish measuring at 24 inches. Today was quite an adventure, but our perseverance paid off and able to pull up some great sized fish. Looking forward to heading back to McGregor Lake again. Thanks for watching and check back for more videos.